Jack, hi. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for your invitation. Thanks for your time. I know how busy you are. However, for Ukrainians, you always have time. Absolutely. And you, you always find time. Thanks for your support. I saw your Facebook page. Uh, we didn't meet actually in the past. This is my second visit to Great Britain. But I see how your society strongly support uh, my country, my nation. I can say you that it's crucial, uh, especially now when we see some turbulences in the East in Eastern Europe, in the United States. What do you can say about your establishment? How sincere, how real your society, your well, political was, system pro Ukraine? When I was walking in this morning, uh -huh. because obviously today is a very important day in the UK with the King's speech, I noticed that over one of the, our government buildings just around the corner there was a very large Ukrainian flag flying. Uh, and that was the tallest flag. And it, and it surpassed every other flag. And I just thought about the support the British people have given the people of Ukraine. And there isn't a village or a town in the UK without a Ukrainian flag being flown on s several locations, churches, pubs, village halls. So the whole country, the whole psyche of the country is very much in support of, the, of what you're trying to do, i.e. liberate your country and kick the Russians out uh, and be a free society again. Thank you. As you mentioned, today it's a very important day. I was watching the... And I was uh, delighted that Ukraine was mentioned in the King's speech. I, uh, you, as I was waiting for I was watching, it. I wasn't sure. I was watching this. I had no idea what was going to be in it, and I was absolutely delighted. When yes, it, when and the King, King, uh, King Charles said mm. that uh, we should uh, strongly cooperate with, the, with our allies mm. in support of Ukraine mm. and the further, further activities against the terror. I was delighted when I yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a very important message mm. for the society. But in the, in the modern world, we see how... And also, may I say, the Prime Minister also, in his speech in the House of Commons of the Dispatch Box, made similar sentiments. Yeah, but the other conflicts, uh, like in Middle East, in, 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 in South Caucasus, yes, in mm. Azerbaijan, I mean, do they change the position toward the support of Ukraine? I mean... As far as I'm concerned, it makes our support stronger because mm -hmm. it's essentially the same conflict as far as philosophically. Do we want to live in a free world mm -hmm. where democracies can thrive and flourish or do we want to be defeated by the forces of terror, darkness, fascism, oppression? And that's a binary choice. You can't be half in, half out. And I think, you know, it, for us in the UK, you know, we never take for granted that we live in a free country. We're very lucky, but it hasn't happened by accident. It's happened because we paid for it in blood, in sacrifice in previous generations. And your fight now on the mainland of Europe is our fight. If you lose, we lose. And it will just encourage the other uh, odious regimes around the world to continue with what they're trying to, to do. So I think, it's, I think it's focused our minds even more. You know, the time is... Carry on, carry on. <laughs> but, you've, but, got, you've got me going. Uh, <laughs> I have two last questions. One concerning the, the beginning of the war. Do you remember the 24th of February? I do. And uh, how you percepted this full-scale invasion? It was a surprise? Or, or you well, there have been discussions and rumblings for quite some time. Uh, and I think there were some people saying, oh, I don't think he will invade. Not many in our country, but if you... Watch yeah, the global yeah, media. Same in Ukraine. But we thought yeah. that, um, that he, was, he was going to within a few weeks of it actually happening. And I was just stunned that anybody could think that they could walk into somebody else's country in the 21st century. Uh, and I think without even considering the terrible consequences for them. Because I wasn't surprised when the Ukrainians fought. In fact, I was worried about escalation. I could see a big conflict conflict and conflagration. But no, I was appalled and shocked that this could happen on mainland Europe. And I, you know, a country which aspires to be a member of the European Union, wants to join NATO. You walk around Kiev, it's like any other European city. And I was just shocked beyond measure that somebody could actually make that decision to think, A, this was a good thing to do, or that it would succeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know that I made an interview with one, one of the professors in Cambridge University, and he said that this war is a challenge for Western order, for Western, uh, Western civilization. Challenge. So what are the challenges for Ukraine, for West order, we can see next year? In what regard? In regard on the 
political instability here in the world. Well, I mean, there, there are elections. The United States has this. Whatever happens here, I think you have complete unanimous cross-party support, whatever the outcome. And I'm happy about that. But obviously, we will still keep asking the questions and we'll still keep seeking assurances from other parties and even people you know, closer to us in our own party. But the real fear is a change of government in the US mm -hmm. and a difference of emphasis and tone. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Trumpian voices, the isolationists, the people who think this is a faraway country of which we know nothing uh, and don't have any interest. And that's the real challenge. And we are, Maria and I and some of my team, are leading a delegation in Washington in a few weeks' time with uh, some very senior politicians, which you'll hear about, specifically to talk to the Republican politicians or Congress people and say, you know what, you know, this is so important because if Putin is able to gain any psychological advantage or demonstrate that he's gained territory, it will be a disaster for the Western world and will cost you a lot more in blood and treasure down the track. Thank you very much for your support, for your contribution of personally you, of your nation, of your team. And I think you together in this togetherness, we can succeed all the obstacles and to get victory. Thank you very Fairly much. Failure is not an option. Thank you. Slava <laughs> Ukraine.